Hey folks, today is March 3rd, no, March 6th, I think, anyways, it's a Monday, and I gotta get something off my chest, I've been running into some random people, and uh, people who have been made aware of my previous health conditions and surgeries and um, also aware also aware of some of the um, fundraising that was done when I was in the hospital and when I came back out and then went back in and then back out and um, and there's been some questions that have been posed to me, uh, which I'm happy to explain and uh, and answer. But it made me wonder if people, if these odd, like, not odd people, but if, if these random people were asking me this question, um, what are the odds that others... Um, might have the same question, but we're afraid to ask. Uh, so, basically what I'm going to talk about is the fundraising that was done while we were dealing with my health issues. And, you know, some people came up to me and mentioned, you know, well, were you not getting insurance money or uh, like some sort of disability or anything like that for being off work and my answer is yes I was um, I'd have to double check my stubs but I think if I'm not mistaken it was roughly I think it was like eleven hundred dollars every two weeks is what we were getting and that is a decent amount of money and I'm not saying, you know, for living expenses, yeah, it 100% that help that that cover would have covered our bills here, you know, but it wasn't just our bills here that had to be covered. Um, we're talking weeks in the hospital in Toronto, and with that time, we had hotel rooms to pay for um, because Julie was there. Most nights they let her sleep in the room with me, but not every night. And not only that, but she wasn't the only one there. And, uh, you know, my parents came down to support and to help um, when, you know, because Julie couldn't be there all day, all night, at all times. So when, you know, she would be gone, uh, they were there and they were helping out. Um, getting things for me or helping me out of bed, helping me out my walks, doing whatever. So, you know, we, we were helping to pay for their rooms, um, or my dad's, my, their room, I should say, and for the parking and stuff, because I don't know if you guys are aware, but in Toronto, it's a minimum of $11 a day if you're lucky for parking and to top it off you still got the hotel expense and food and you'll if you're lucky we'll say you get a hotel for a hundred and ten dollars a night well if you're there for two weeks that's 14 days at a hundred and ten dollars a night it doesn't take long and it racks up you're, you're looking into hundreds of dollars so you know we were very grateful for the help that we got and we passed that money along to pay for the rooms that my parents were, were staying in and for the one that Julie was staying in and you know there was food to be bought for, for Julie while we, she was down there because she, she wasn't going to eat uh, jello and popsicles and whatever else that the, the hospital was feeding me when I was unable to eat food and 
you know, so she was having to buy meals at Tim Hortons and Subway and places like that just so she can spend time with me and and survive, right? Well, we're up there. So, you know, that's that's the bulk of what the money was used for. Um, because like I said, with the amount of time I spent in Toronto, we were we were in there for weeks at a time and you start factoring, you know, $110, $120 a day times two weeks and then we'd go to my dad's for a bit and then go back to the hospital and spend another couple of weeks in the hospital or whatever it racked up the bills so we got very lucky with the fundraising that was done very and very uh, we were very touched and very thankful for that help because I don't know where we would be today if it wasn't for the generosity of people uh, who helped us to make it through that tough time um, we probably would have lost our homes and our our home and our vehicles um, just trying to pay for those extra expenses in the long run so um, yes there are travel grants that the government offers but it's a one-shot deal so if I leave here to go to Toronto for a day they'll give you X amount of dollars we'll say we'll say I'm not even sure what the money the exact amount is but we'll say it's three hundred and fifty dollars okay well let's say that same trip ends up lasting two weeks it's the same amount of money they don't give you they don't base it on how many days you're up there they just whether you're with a companion or not and you could be there for a week, you could be there for a month, it's still a one-way ticket. And it, in our case, we flew there by air ambulance um, once, and we didn't get paid for that uh, through the grant because we got transportation by air ambulance from Hearst to Timmins and then from Timmins to... Toronto so um, anyway I just wanted to touch base on that um, I've had some people talk to me about it in the community here and had some questions and it made me wonder what others were thinking and I figured I should probably make this video just to explain and I'm hoping that people will get a better understanding of what is involved it's not just you know oh you're in a hospital getting hospital food and you have a bed to stay yeah I was fine no problem there but when you're factoring in um, you know your loved ones that are there with you you know they need a place to stay and shower and you know get keep their clothes and all that stuff um, and you know it's it becomes really costly when you're not from that town and had I been able to stay in the hospital in in, in here up in Hearst uh, and get treated uh, and have surgery I would have um, but you know um, Mount Sinai is the hospital that's dealt with all my conditions the her the hospital in Hearst doesn't perform sur surgical procedures like that and my doctor didn't even want to waste any time um, when I got when I went back the second time I went to I, I wasn't feeling well I went to see her at the doctor's office she knew I wasn't doing well she immediately um, she immediately put me into uh, care at the Hearst Hospital with the intention of flying me to Timmins for a CAT scan and then from there to Toronto she wasn't messing around so it wasn't even an option to stay close to home and um, you know it meant being several hours away about 10 hours 11 hours away from from home for literally we were gone the first shot we were gone for like two months we, we were gone for two months so anyway uh, just wanted to 
touch base on that. I hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, my week just started uh, being Monday and uh, so far so good. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Take care and we'll see you soon. Thank you.